Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Great day. Just have a great day. Beginning of the week, man. Hey, it's the boss called AK Mr. Standing Your Greatness, man. Welcome to the call. Let's knock this thing out, man. And start the week off on a high note. Greatness one-on-one. Topic of the day. A leader of one. The leader, a leader of one. When I one of my journeys in entrepreneurship I, I, I of inspiring my first i had a cap that said leader of leaders and the thought process behind that cap was you lead yourself first then you start then you're able to lead others around you if you want to influence others you must always lead yourself first if you can't do that you have no credibility at all and as an entrepreneur The first person you lead every single day is yourself. I want to give you three keys to leading you. This will help you through your week, whether it's building, whether it's trading, or whatever it is that you're doing on your entrepreneurial journey. Three keys. Number one, manage your time. I like this quote. Until you value yourself, you won't value your time. Until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. My biggest pet peeve is my time. My time is very valuable to me and I don't want anyone to waste it, right? And we can take that into a lot of different aspects. When we look at trading, and that's why I always give the example of Target will pay you $15 an hour versus you valuing your time and saying, I'm going to learn how to trade. And in three minutes, I can earn that $15 or I can trade a time, an hour of my time for $15 an hour. Right? It's all about perspective and how people value their time. Successful people, high level people, know their time is of the utmost value. And they're going to take their time very serious. So you need to manage out your day to know exactly what you want to accomplish in that day. Because when you manage that day, you can manage a week, you can manage a month, you can manage a year. And that's how people after a year are in a totally different place than where they started from because they have their goals set and they manage their time in uh, and and be so they can be focused on their goals and where they want to be. So understand that your time is valuable. Do not waste your time. Oh man, it's a Monday. Nope, Monday, let's go. Let's go, let's get to the bag. Let's do what we need to do to get to our goals. Number two, manage your priorities. I like this breakdown. 80% of the time, work where you are the strongest. 15% of the time, work where you are learning. 5% of the time, work in other areas. Most people do this in reverse. Most people spend 80% of the time working in other areas that aren't focusing on their goal. So 80% of your time you're focusing on your strength, where your gift is, where you feel passionate about, what in areas that give you life, that you're having success. Spend 80% of your time there. 15% of the time where you're learning something that's going to enhance the 80%. The things that you're doing, right? You want to learn and get better. And then 5% on everything else. 5% in, 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 in other areas. You can look at it with trading. Me, 80% of my time is spent in binary HFX, 80% of the time. Really, 90% of the time. I don't care about anything else. 15% of the time, yeah, now, I can look at some, some indices because I enjoy trading indices. 5% of the time, really, you just put that in my, for me in, in, in the other area because I don't need to know about any other uh, strategy when it comes to trading within the market. So most people are scatterbrained when it comes to finding a strategy. No, focus on one, getting a profit, 
and let's go. And number three, manage your personal life. Manage your personal life. If you if your family life is shot, let me back up. If your spiritual life is shot, number one, you, you won't have success. Number two, if your family life is shot, you won't have success. And then you can focus on your finances, faith, uh, four Fs, faith, family, finances. Faith, family, finances. I said four, three, three Fs. Then friends after that is it, beautiful, right? But you want to have your spiritual life intact. Whoever you, whoever you pray to, whatever your religion, whatever your faith is, whatever it is, whatever your higher power is, you want to have that intact. Then you can have your family intact because you want to make sure that your significant other, your kids, your mom, dad, grandparents cherish that time with them. And then finally, focus on your finances because it's, I don't care how high you climb, if you lose your family, it was not worth it, right? Got it? So three keys to be a leader of one because if we're not leading ourselves, we can't lead anyone else, guys. Hope that was some value to you. Uh, Tobias Carter, AKA Even Standing Your Greatness, call it from rainy, cold Atlanta, Georgia. See you guys at the top. Take care. Love you.